Good morning everyone, it's January 5th, 2025, and this is FSD Supervised 13.2.2 .2 in a 2024 Model 3 with AI4. This is test loop one. I do have the driver, the profile set to hurry with the recommended 40% um, overage of the speed limit, and it looks like uh, FSD 13.2.2 .2 is handling the residential speed zones really well. For those that watch my 12.6, it liked to speed down this road. Uh, this one seems to be, as you can see, it's set to hurry. Right to this one road. seems to be obeying the speed limits much better. Now turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. So we now have an obstruction on the left for this right turn on the Plum Canyon. It's a fence with a barricade, a cloth barricade blocking the view. So the car does have to pull out to see. And I need it to see too. Okay, it's clear if it goes now, excellent. There is some fast moving traffic and the car is accelerating slowly, so he's gonna pass us here. Speeding here, but I'm on hurry. I'll leave it on hurry for just for the to complete this circuit. Now turn right onto Bouquet Canyon Road. Nice smooth right turn with the green light. Okay, perfect. Signaling emerging left. Very slow emerge left. No traffic behind me. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Benz Road. point to turn the turn signal on nice deceleration should just smoothly go into the left excellent now let's see how it handles the speed bumps okay nice slow down for the first speed bumps Little hesitation there accelerating through the intersection, but nothing horrible. Okay, second speed bumps. In 500 feet, there we go, slowing down for them. Drive. Little slow, but not bad. Nice adjustment and acceleration we're going uphill okay the third speed now bumps it right usually misses and it's going to plow right over them so it didn't see the third speed bumps again okay so i've got a very slow moving car on the right with four-way flashers that it's waiting for so i'm going to get stuck behind them so there's the slow moving four-way flasher and it's just hesitating here. I've got another car coming from the left, but it could have proceeded. So it should go now. Now it looks like we're still pulling into the suicide lane. It should just go into that right lane. At least it's getting out of it quick and signaling. Speed limit is 45, it should reset it here. There we go. It's getting in the right lane because of my navigation. I've got to wait till I pass this light and it's kind of going slow here. I'm going to give it a tap. There we go. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Old Spanish Trail, then so turn left. Let me remove my midway point. 
Gebiet. I want this way. There we go. Now turn right nope. onto Deer Springs Drive. The navigation still doesn't want to let me pick my route. It flips it around. There we go. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Haskell Canyon Road. nice and smooth with its control inputs. Cut the left and impact the oncoming left turn lane. Speed control is still a little bit of an issue. It's still a little slow in this 45 zone. There's no reason it shouldn't be doing 45. There we go. Choosing the outside turn lane, which is fine. Inside's empty, but it doesn't really matter.
Okay, it let go of the accelerator and we're kind of coasting here at 40 and a 50 zone. In hurry mode, you'd think it would pass if I want, if it's 10 uh, under the speed limit. Now we're slowly accelerating as this gentleman in front of us pulls away. Person pulls away. Slowly creeping up to the speed limit. Decision change, lane change decision. <laughs> Sorry. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Via Joyce Drive. So that's test loop one with FSD supervised 13.2.2 on AI4. 